What's up guys? So a question that I get asked quite a lot is what does the order of merit mean? How does it work? And what do you mean when you say defending money? Because I will say things and I assume people understand it, but I guess not everyone understands it. So if you do understand how the order of merit works, then this video isn't quite going to be for you. But if you don't and you want to understand what is going on, then I'm going to try my absolute best to explain it for you guys. So if you want to find out how the order of merit works, then stick around. If you do enjoy the video, leave a like on it and subscribe if you're brand new. Anyway, guys, let's get into this. So there's a few different versions of the order of merit, but the one that we're going to be talking about today is going to be the PDC two-year ranking order of merit. So this is the order of merit that basically decides who is where in the rankings. So at the point of recording this video, as of last night, Peter Wright just passed £1 million in ranking money, which basically means that over the past two years... Peter Wright has earned £1 million in ranking money. So before we get into that, there's a difference between ranking money and non-ranking money. Certain tournaments are ranked, certain tournaments are not ranked. The money that you earn from both tournaments goes into your account the same way. But if you earn the money in a ranking tournament, then it goes towards your order of merit. So the order of merit is done completely by money earned. So if you earn money in a ranking tournament, then it will go into your account and it will also go to your order of merit. So if you've ever heard the term ranking event, that's basically what it means. It's basically an event that goes towards your order of merit. So the next thing is how does it work? Now the easiest way to try and explain how the order of merit works is to think of it as a conveyor belt. So, so if you were to have a conveyor belt with the front of the conveyor belt being whatever the date is right now. So it depends where you are, it depends what the day is, depends how far into, into the future you're watching this video, it would be right now. And then it goes all the way towards the end of the conveyor belt, which would be two years ago today or two years ago this week or something like that. So the conveyor belt basically lasts two years. So every time a player will earn ranking money, there will be money that gets put onto the conveyor belt and it will slowly over the course of two years move its way back to the end of the conveyor belt. Now, the idea is to earn as much money in those two years as you can so that you've, you're high up in the rankings so you're higher then there are other players and you get better you get better better chances of playing in better tournaments and you'll, get, you'll be invited to more stuff and you'll just be able to earn more money in general. So the more money you have, the more money you can, you can earn. So over the course of the two years, the money will be building up and building up and building up. But once you reach the end of the two years, the money that you earned two years ago or over two years ago will fall off the end of the conveyor belt. And then that basically means that that will come off your ranking money. That will come off your two-year conveyor belt uh, ranking. So that's how that works. So, so you might often hear commentators or just darts media people talking about defending money. Now, the way that the PVC uh, tournament system works is it's basically the same every year. So every year, December is the World Championships. Every year, February is the UK Open, if I've got that right. Um, every year, whatever is in whatever month. They sort of keep it going. So let's say that the World Championships is coming around. Uh, and let's say, let's say Michael Van Gogh. So we'll take Michael Van Gogh, for instance. He's coming up to the World Championships, which is going to be uh, in December. So two years ago, he's got his World Championship ranking money on that conveyor belt. But because it's going to, because the two years is going to come up and the conveyor belt is still moving, uh, his prize money from two years ago is going to fall off the end of the conveyor belt, which means that he is defending that amount of prize money in this tournament because... All he can try and do is better that prize money or at least try and keep it as close as possible to keep his rank pretty close. The problem with, our, problem, the problem with Michael Van Gogh in this year is that he's defending a win which was worth £500,000. So if you're watching this video as of, it, as of the time being recorded or before the 2021 World Championships, you may well hear the commentators discussing Michael Van Gogh and defending £500,000, which basically means that his two years has come up since he won the £500,000 and the money is going to fall off the conveyor belt and he's going to be left with, with nothing. So he's going to have to try and earn as much in this World Championships to balance out the amount of money he's about to lose in that World Championships from two years ago. But anyway, that's basically how it works. If you've got any questions in the comment section below, feel free to ask me. Uh, I'll try and explain it as best I can. I've tried my best in this video, but I understand it's not the easiest thing to wrap your head around. But I hope if you think of it as a conveyor belt and you think of it as a system in which uh, you earn money over two years and then it becomes, and then it falls off your ranking, 
um, then hopefully, hopefully you guys will, will follow and understand. Anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this video, leave a like on it. If you want any more informational videos like this uh, about anything in darts, let me know in the comment section below. I'll try my best to explain whatever it is that you need to the best of my ability. And yeah, anyway, guys, subscribe if you're brand new and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.